Well, I always um, took pictures that were slightly odd, I would say. My, my first picture Dad ever said, my first art piece, uh, was a photograph on um, a cruise ship that we went on when he had a book tour. And it was a photo of the balloons that they would let out of the pool when they left. Um, and, and anybody else would have had a much more normal picture of that. <laughs> but mine was focused on the light pole and the, the pole that, you know, held the flags up and then a little bit of hair and then, you know, a little bit of balloons. Um, but when I was in art school, one of the best things that anybody ever asked me, which I still take to heart is, what would you take out of each picture? Hmm. Um, and I found myself going closer and closer in, in order to edit out any information that would give the viewer a place to stand. Um, so at the time I was using a uh, Roloflex that my father-in-law had given me and it only had a certain um, ability to go close and then it would fall off. And my husband at the time found a, uh, because it's a twin reflex camera, you have to have two lenses in order to get a close-up lens and they have to relate. So he got me this thing that I could screw onto both of them. And then I would be the bellows. So I could like move forward or backward based on how close I wanted to go and trying to get into focus. But that's where I started the square was the Roloflex. Um, and over the years, I got closer and closer up, but digital cameras kind of prevailed. Although you couldn't get a square format digital camera for less than 200,000 or whatever it was, you know, but then boom, Instagram <laughs> happened and everything had a square all of a sudden. Um, but there were, there were probably three or four years where I had to actually cut off a half of, or not a half, but a, a portion of the image in order to make it a square. Uh, and I'd get into giant fights with my father over that because he thought squares were impossible. And why would I be trying to do something that's so hard? And, and he would argue with Franz Klein about squares too. <laughs> um, and then I would show him the pictures that I took, but then also say what I was going to take out of it. Cause I planned that when I was taking it, what was extra. Um, and he'd say, no, it's fine as a rectangle, just, you know, but I didn't want it to be a picture. And to me, pictures are, you know, four by six or eight by 10, they come in that size. And so when I was printing them originally, I would print them and map them and frame them and put them on the wall and people would still call them paintings. And so finally I thought, why am I treating them like a photograph at all? If they're really about painting. Um, and at the time, I think, I think it was Bob Henry had gotten a printer that you could print on 11 by 17, but print on different things. And I got a, um, a bunch of canvas that I could print on and I would actually stretch it around a stretcher. Um, but they were, had to be little, they had to be <laughs> eight by eight. Um, but as the technology changed, uh, so did my ability to make different things. Um, but I landed on what I think I like the best, which is just printing straight on canvas and then adhering it to a, a panel, which is, just what painters would use. It's a painting panel. Um, so that's sort of how it, it kind of progressed over time. 